Things are getting good now in this series, in this episode. Wow. Wow. Just one day. All it took was one day with Gideon. And now Van is acting crazy. And it's to believe that he's he's wavering. He's wavering. According to Gideon, he's wavering in his thought process. He's not no he's not even following his blessing anymore. He believes he's following his blessing. He believes he's He's doing what his blessing wants him to do, what the Almighty wants him to do, the Almighty Lord of Demise or Demise. Yeah, it's getting crazy, guys. It's getting crazy. This whole episode will lead up into a big climactic battle for the next episode, which would I was hoping for Rudy and Van to actually face off, but Rudy is going to be more of a supportive character or supportive for uh, for her brother. It's going to be a fight between. The hero's blessing and the guide. This also, this episode showed us that Van really needed a guide, an actual person who had the blessing of the guide, somebody who can actually guide him to become the hero that he's supposed to be. Don't get me wrong, that's just not a bad teacher. She just doesn't have the guide blessing, unlike Gideon does. Gideon has that guide blessing. That's why. Van would actually listen to him. And at the end, of course, he listened to Gideon and took up took on his challenge. Got uh, dropped his sword, his holy sword, and now they're gonna fight Mano Mano, who's who's a better, of course gonna be Van. So Gideon might have to play some tricks. Has, he probably has a lot of tricks up his sleeves. That's why he took on the challenge. If he didn't, he probably would allow Rudy to actually challenge each other. The thing, that the thing is, is that Van believes that it's he has it's this um, Highlander thing. You know Highlander, where they each try to kill each other, and they say they're all they're going to be one. That's what Van believes that if he kills Rudy, if he kills Rudy, if he kills Rudy, that he will actually become a true hero and gain her power. Her blessing, making them more powerful. That's what he believes. I would love to see them fight against each other. But the plan is to... It's a one-on-one -on -one between Gideon and Van. Which uh, he believes that he can talk him out of it. Or talk some sense into him. Which he is the guide. He, is, uh, he has the guide blessing. So that's why he listens to him. That's why he listened to him in the last episode. Episode 10. He listened to him. He... He actually listened to everything that um, Gideon was saying. He was in, he was trying to guide him. Gideon was trying to guide him just one day. And look what happened on that one day. Made him question, made him waver, made him act crazy. He literally was going to kill an innocent creature. According to Van, anything that's not human-like is, is deemed evil. If, it, if a creature doesn't look human-like, like if it's not a demi-human, I don't think he'll kill like an elf or a demi-human, something who will look, something who's like a beast, but will look like a human, will have a human form. He was literally going to kill an innocent uh, fae. That's what they call them, fae. They're fairies or something like that. Yeah, some type of fairy. They're fairies. He was literally going to kill... He actually was actually going to kill also Albert, who was actually saving the little girl and told the little girl to run away. He was, he was doing the right thing, which is to prevent a van from uh, killing an innocent creature. Basically defending, being a, a true hero. He was, Albert changed a lot, though. If you, paid, if you watched season one and how Albert acted, he changed a lot. But um, Van... That one mission that they did, where he got the hug from the little girl, made him question, or something, made him do act in a different way, which now he won't either either have to kill. Uh, the The plan was if uh, Rudy wasn't there, which I'm glad that she's there, because if Rudy wasn't there, Van would have uh, like destroyed the whole country of Sultan. Until he would have massacred everybody. He would have killed everybody until he met Rudy. 
until she got until he got that chance to fight Rudy and kill her. He was acting crazy. But that was because he was questioning himself, questioning everything that uh, Gideon told him. It, was, it happens when you meet somebody who is supposed to be, uh, who you listen to and questions your actions and tells you this and that and everything. Of course, you're going to question what, what you're going to do. Like, question yourself. Like, that's what he's doing. He's questioning himself. And that's why he's acting this way. This is all impulsive. Everything's not through his blessing. Everything's all impulsive. Everything that he's doing right now is because he's questioning himself. He's questioning his blessing. He's quit. He isn't. He has no no like no course of action. He has, he doesn't know what to think or he he doesn't, he has no way to. Do, does he trust his blessing or it, it, it's he, his mind is wavering? That's why they say wavering. He he doesn't know what to think. He doesn't know. That's why he's acting like that. He's using this as a way to, like, because he doesn't know what to do. He's just acting out, basically. And that's the only way he can think of is using his sword, using his skills, using his abilities in order to get the answer that he wants. And he believes that if he actually kills Rudy, he'll become a true hero, and which would improve his, according to him, improve his blessing or something. But I can't wait. I can't wait to see this fight between Gideon and him. They didn't fight at all. The only fight we saw was between Esther and uh, Van and then Albert and stuff like that, which uh, will led up to, will led up to that. We also learned a little bit about La Lavender, La Lavendida, whatever. Her, they say they say her name way cooler than what she is pronounced, which is Lavender, but they say Lavendida or something like that. We learned a little bit about her. She's the only remnant of her race, her species, or a species of fairy, or fae, whatever they're called. They are fairy. So she's the last one. She's a very powerful fairy. Very powerful fairy. Which were annihilated. Her whole race of fairies, her type of fairies, or fae, were annihilated by other creatures, other mythical creatures, like dragons and stuff like that. So she's the last one. She's the last one. I can't wait to see her full, what, what she doesn't want um, Van to see. Because eventually, I bet you she's going to show. She's going to show uh, them. She's going to show them. But it's just, it's, I wish, like I said, I wish it was Rudy. It's just Gideon and Van. They're, they're the main ones that are going to be fighting. And they're going to be fighting with the, the same sword. He actually listens to him. Huh? Like I said, it's not Esther's fault. She doesn't have the blessing. The I guess the hero's blessing will listen to the person that's guiding them. The person that has the guy's blessing. So that's why she he actually did listen to uh, Gideon in that episode, in episode 10. That's why he listened. That's why he um, followed his rules. Not rules, but followed him. Unlike everybody, everybody else that's around him, he doesn't listen to but he listened to Gideon. He listened to Red. Which upset, of course, Esther. After all the time that he was been with him, he actually listened to Gideon, who, was, who he met for one day. For one day. All it took was one day, and he actually did listen to him. But this whole this whole one day has got him questioning himself, questioning his heroism, questioning his blessing, questioning everything. That's why he's in this tirade is because it's a child he looks like a child he's a child he's a child who has no other way but to go on a tirade to get to maybe get see maybe like get some answers maybe get get a full hold or something something that would get make some sense to him something like that I wish it was Rudy. I wish it was Rudy. I, I'm not sure who would win. I would think Rudy would win. I think um, he, he's not strong. He just became the hero. He just literally became the hero. So I don't think he can beat Rudy. I think Rudy would probably would like basically massacre him or not massacre him, but like kick his kick his ass. He she literally would probably kick his ass. Literally, that's 
She's just there to support. Who knows? Who knows how strong he really is? If he maybe goes full out. But Esther took him down. <laughs> Esther took him down, and she's not Rudy. So it could be that Rudy maybe could kill him if he actually won one on one. She almost killed. She literally almost killed Lavender. Lavendia, 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 whatever her name is. Like I said, they, they say her name cooler in Japanese. I'm not sure how they say it in English, but it's basically it's pronounced lavender if you say it. But it's in a different world, of course. And they got to say more fancier, which is Lavendia, Lavendera, whatever, whatever her name is. But yeah, he literally almost died. I don't know what she did. Either she threw a pebble and then it literally cut her in half. Almost cut her in half. Her body in half, man. She had to be healed. She had to be healed in order to survive. She was begging for her life. That fairy was literally begging for her life. While she was threatening... Before, she was threatening all of these people through threatening another fae that showed up and decided to help out. Because she was acting crazy. So, um... Of course, uh, when you're in love, you trying to protect the person that you love the most. If she was a good woman, a good lover, partner, she would, and a good lover, I would think that she would probably try to convince Fan instead of trying to go along with it, with, with whatever he wants. Very sad. Very sad. She should be like Rudy. Or like Esther now, who's now who's falling in love. He, Esther's literally like, I don't want to fall in love. Like, and then Gideon's like, do you want not to fall in love with Albert? <laughs> Which makes no sense. Um, I have I have no idea that she had this type of feelings for Albert. Unless, she, well, we did see how she blushed in the, the episode where she was with Tiss camping out or in the fire. Or she was with Tiss. <laughs> After before that, uh, there were no signs of ever love between those two. Makes no sense, but uh, it, it it does a little bit make sense in a way. Like they are literally always close to each other. Before Albert was here, uh, came to Zoltan. She was he was with, or he probably would travel with, of course, um, Esther. Even though he is his homeland is Zoltan, he's the former adventurer. He now travels with Esta. He's bodyguard partner or whatever, maybe uh, a retainer for her, or a spy, an agent. Who knows? Who knows what he actually is for her? But yeah. So eventually, if you're like there with that same person for for years or maybe for months and months and months, of course. Uh, There'll, there'll be some feelings you built you built of course camaraderie camaraderie I can't say that word you built friendship you built um, an emotional bond and that bond would of course lead into maybe more if the other, or if one of the persons wants it and if both persons want it that's what I think that's what I think what happened we don't see the big details Unless this is in the, in the manga, which probably would be best to watch, or not watch, but read the manga. If you want to know every other detail that they don't show in the anime, that's what I suggest you do. Is, like, you want to see how their love went th go through, you go through the manga. But yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad. He, he actually, he actually tried to kill his, this dude, the Cardinal. I'm talking about Van now. Yeah, Van actually... Put his, put his own sword in and and stabbed it into this cardinal's stomach. I'm not sure if he, the cardinal's dead or not. <laughs> Who knows? If somebody ever sees him, hopefully, hopefully somebody goes in there, tries to change change sheets, and it's like, oh my god, no, the cardinal. Hopefully, that's the only way I think that they can save. Uh, he can be saved. Like, he's not listening to anybody. He's not listening to anybody anymore now. With this, Van is no longer 
with with now him questioning things and crazy creating doubts in himself or doubts in his blessing. You're not listening to anybody. Only get in now. <laughs> Only get in. Because the reason why I say it is because if he was smart, he would not take Gideon's challenge and use a, a bronze sword. A typical bronze sword. Something nobody would use. If if he, he probably would ask, like, can I get a better sword? But, of course, he took the challenge. Just accepted the challenge. And now we'll fight one-on-one. -on -one. Who knows who will win? If you have any bets, it'll probably be because of the strength of his, uh, well, the because of his blessing, of course. He, he has the hero's blessing. You would think Van would win. That's why everybody was worried that uh, this was the plan that Gideon came up with. This uh, Gideon's the, the plan maker of, the, of this whole group, of the heroes party, of Rudy, of the Red, of everybody. They don't get any. They don't go. They don't go through anything without getting. Okay, look, what's the plan? What's the plan, Gideon? And this was the plan. Like, hey, I believe I can win. <laughs> and of course. Uh, Red, uh, Rudy, brother complex here, agrees like, okay, my brother can deal it. My, my brother can do it. Root, I think was, was her name. Uh, yeah, Rudy, okay. The elf girl, I forgot her name. They don't, they don't show her a lot in, the, in these episodes, especially since um, Rudy Rit and Red we're all away for a while. We didn't get to see them a lot. We saw more of them throughout uh, uh, when, of course, Van got there. Lauda or something? Something with an L. Some, like, long elfin, elven name. But, yeah. Um, his friends. His friends believe that he can do it. The only one that didn't was Tiss. <laughs> the only one was like, are you sure? Are you sure you can take him on? And you believe that he he's insane? He's saying he, that he he basically won. Well, the plan is, is not to actually fight, but they actually are gonna fight. I'm assuming that's why they challenge. That's why he threw the sword. They probably are gonna talk it out, but they're gonna talk it out while they're fighting. That's what he wants. That's what uh, Gideon Gideon believes that he can make, get into not get into his head, but like trying to convince him, trying to convince him to act right. Not act like the way he's doing right now. Try to act the way a hero should be. Be an actual guide for him. Which he needed. He needed the whole time. Which I'm, just, I'm surprised that they didn't get anybody that had that blessing. It couldn't be just that Gideon was the only one that had that blessing. There's Like Gideon was not the only one that probably has that blessing. He may be the best, maybe. But I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure he's not the only one. They could have gotten somebody, some random guy who had that, or some random person who had that blessing, in order to guide Van it and not make him go into this uh, psychotic way, <laughs> get him all crazy up. Like I said, it took Gideon one conversation, one meeting, not meeting, but one like get together, one mission, in order to get his. Change his, get his heart not to, uh, to get him wavered, get him confused, cause him to be confused, cause him to doubt himself, be become wavered, the way they call it that right now. He's wavered. They believe that he's wavering, that he doesn't know what what to do anymore, and that he's just using this um, this killing Rudy as a as a ruse to maybe accomplish something that probably won't accomplish nothing. And the knowledge that Gideon has, of course, he believes that this is not his blessings doing it. It's his own impulse. His own impulse. He's using it as an excuse. He's using his blessing as an excuse to go after Rudy because he doesn't know what to do anymore. He's questioning everything. He doesn't know what to do. So the only thing he has to, can do is fight. And if he believes that if he kills Rudy, he can finally 
um, understand what he has to do, which makes no sense. <laughs> makes no sense. That's stupid. If he had a better guide or person who had the guide's blessing, he wouldn't act like this. I think that's why he doesn't listen to Esther. He doesn't listen to that cardinal guy. He doesn't listen to anybody except for himself. Except for his blessing as well. The only thing that yeah, the only thing he actually does listen to is his blessing. Which is not as a bad thing. If somebody wants to follow what God tells them to, what God tells them to say, not to say but believe or if they want to follow that, they want to follow God's will and want to follow God's blessing. More power to you, man. Not everybody's going to do that, though. Not everybody wants to do that. People want free will and stuff like that. But if Van wants that, that's good for him. That's a good thing. I can't wait, guys. I can't wait to see the fight. I can't wait to see how this would end up. Who would win. There's like a, say, 10% chance. I would say 10% chance. Oh, wait. I'm, no, I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm going to say like a... 30-70% chance that Gideon could win. And I'm hoping that he wins. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he does win. And maybe he gets some help from his little sister. Maybe. Maybe that would maybe give... I think that's why I, I'm giving him a 30% because he has Rudy's, uh, Rudy's back. Or he really has his back. So, of course, if you have Rudy on your corner, you're in... There's more likely, there's a higher chance that you're going to win against another hero. Another person that has the hero's blessing. So I can't wait, guys. I can't wait to see who would win in this fight. And maybe have, uh, see if Gideon can punch some sense into him. Or maybe slash some sense into him. Since this is going to be a sword battle. Uh, let's, we will see, hopefully. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out.